Hey guys, this is an album review we got here, doing another album review. Today I'll be reviewing a new Godsmack album, A Thousand Horsepower. Now this is the band's sixth album, I've been waiting to review this one for a while, glad I finally got the chance. So as I said, this is their sixth album, and it's their first album since their 2010 album, The Oracle. Let's get into it, track by track. So, it opens with a thousand horsepower, the title track, the lead single, which is a nice driving and high octane track to open the album with. I didn't really like it at first, but the more I listened to it, the more it grew on me. FML is a song that I would imagine more of an emo band to use, like the Amity Affliction uh, did on their album early this year. And when I say I mean the title, the title is something I mean. Uh, anyway, this is a solid track. I mean, I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites. But, not bad. Not bad at all. Something Different starts off a bit slower than the previous tracks. It builds up in a bit in spots, but overall this is a more mellow track. I mean, I also like the fact that the violin is featured in this track. It's a nice touch. What's Next picks up the pace again, uh, as this is another driving track that opens with some pretty heavy instrumentals, which are eased up a bit as Sully's vocals enter the song. This is an alright track, but it feels like it's lacking something. Generation Day opens with a weird electronic beeping intro, uh, which goes into, as I like to call it, Rage Against the Machine style instrumentals, and then the vocals start to come in. This is the longest track on the album, but it doesn't feel like it drags. I like to say it has that Metallica feel to it, where it doesn't matter how long the song is, it doesn't feel like it drags, you know, for the most part. Uh, then we get into Locked and Loaded, which has some really nice instrumentation. Immediately, Sully's vocals remind me of James Hetfield. Uh, I compare the two a bit from time to time, as I'm sure a lot of people do, but there are parts in this song where Sully sounds almost exactly like James. And uh, Living in the Gray has some nice instrumentation in the intro, which carries over through the rest of the song's song as well. Uh, I also like the way the chorus is presented in this track. I feel like it flows very well and it intertwines perfectly with the instrumentals. There are also some really cool riffs in this song that I can't get enough of. My goodness. Good riffs. Good riffs. I Don't Belong is a pretty good grooving track, but it doesn't really do much for me. Then we get into Nothing Comes Easy, which has a really nice guitar part going for it, and it meshes well with everything else that's going on in the song. I also really like the drumming on this track. The vocals on their own aren't bad, but I feel like they can be improved a little bit. Other than that, it's a great track, and honestly, it's still one of my favorites on the album. And finally, we have Turning to Stone, which has instrumentation that reminds me of the, the uh, Godsmack song Serenity, which came off their album Faceless. Overall, it's a mediocre track, though. It's not bad, but it's nothing special. This is a slight disappointing track to close the album with, if you ask me. You know, overall, flow on the album is pretty good. Fantastic, even. However, that sometimes makes me think that some of the songs sound a bit too similar. Sometimes for the better, sometimes not so much. Favorites on the album, though? A Thousand Horsepower, Something Different, Generation Day, Living in the Gray, and Nothing Comes Easy. No least favorites. A Thousand Horsepower by Godsmack gets an 8.5 out of 10 from me. What did you guys think of the album? What do you want to see me review on this channel? Let me know. Let me know. Also like me on Facebook. Ask me questions on Ask the FM. And stay tuned, because there's more stuff coming. That album reviewer guy. Waiting a little bit for a dramatic pause. Before... He says that he is signing off.